these are the ingredients you're gonna need. This is 250 grams of cake flour, one egg yolk, 26 grams of melted unsalted butter, 30 grams of granulated sugar, nine grams of active dry yeast, and five grams of salt, and 130 grams of water at around 100 degrees. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bloom your yeast and give it a mix and let it hang out for about 10 minutes. To a large mixing bowl, you're going to add your dry ingredients. 250 grams of cake flour, your sugar, your salt. And give that a whisk. Okay, from there, you're gonna add your bloomed yeast mixture, one egg yolk, and 25 grams of unsalted melted butter. I'm gonna stir that, break up the egg yolk, stir that with a spatula till it comes together. Once it gets to this point, you're gonna have to mix it with your hands. So you bring it together and it feels really, really light and soft. I can already tell this is gonna feel, uh, be a little bit more difficult. Oh yeah, it's getting sticky now. Too much of that stuck to our fingers. So once you're done kneading and it has come together, the uh, instructions are pick it up and slap it work surface. Oh my god, this is sticky. What in the This is f***ing retarded. I got more of it stuck to my f***ing hands. leave our hands a little moist. Seems to be working better. No, you know what? Weissman's full of shit. So this was 250 grams of cake flour. Okay. Instead of bread flour. That's the only difference. Now we're doing the first turn, which you take it, fold it over itself. Careful not to tear it. Now I'm supposed to flip it over, seam side down. Cover it back up and back in the fridge for 10 minutes. Holy shit, that was stressful. Hey Google, set a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. So after the first holding, it's rested in the fridge for an hour. You're gonna unwrap it and slowly roll it back out again, this direction, till it's about 18 inches long. About 18 inches. Wrap it up and put it in the fridge for 12 hours. Because I have stuff to do, video to edit, 12 hours. So apparently I'm gonna roll this into a wider rectangle. Now you'd see me identifying the middle here and making marks up there. Lightly squeeze that tip down so that it sticks. Process with everything. Now one thing I... Egg wash. And into a oven preheated to 400 degrees for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, now. Can't tell if those are done. Yeah. 
Now they're super flaky. There's definitely room for improvement. And how do they taste? They taste croissant adjacent. Calling this one a fail. That was three days of my life. I'm not getting back. <laughs> Well, folks, that's a wrap on our croissant adventure. Some things don't go as planned in the kitchen, and that's okay. It's all a part of the learning process. Remember, even the best chefs have their off days. We can always try again. Thanks for joining me on this little misadventure. If you enjoyed or learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Little Kitchen Big Food for more culinary experiments, delicious recipes, and obviously sometimes epic fails. And if you have any tips or want to share your own kitchen fails, Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep cooking, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep enjoying good food. See you in the next video.